Okay, hello guys. This is Craig Oyer. Um, starting my reef tank build. Um, I'm only really putting this out there because I know when I were researching, there were um, very limited information um, from a UK point of view. Most of the tanks done are from uh, the States. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. Some of the tanks over there are, are fantastic. But one of the things that I struggled with most was actually converting um, to metric. Um, as I'm sure you're all aware, the Americans are in US gallons, uh, inches, um, feet, all that sort of thing. Whereas everything that we use over here now is litres, centimetres, millimetres, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm only really putting it out there just to help anybody who's starting like I am. Now don't get me wrong, I am not an expert. I am very much a newbie to this. I've got one small nano tank, um, sort of 60 litres, um, and this is my first sort of venture into the medium sized. Um, as you can see, um, I've got various bits scattered about all over with my daughter's toys. Um, a lot of the stuff I have done on the cheap, I have bought a lot of this stuff second hand. Um, but yeah, let's just show you some equipment that I'm going to be using. Um, my return pump is a uh, Eheim Compact Plus 2000, as you can see there. Let's see if I can get that focusing for you. There we go. Um, more than enough. Uh, one of the reasons why I went for quite a strongish pump for my um, tank size is the head height that I'm going to be pumping. So it's going to need to pump to um, not far, not far off six foot. Um, you know. You know what I mean. Um, whereas this will bump to 2.3 meters, which is more than enough. So that's uh, that's why I've gone for that. Um, this Rio 2100 there, that's going to be feeding my um, protein skimmer V2 Skim 400. Again, you can see this is in used condition. I got it for a uh, bargain off of eBay, as most of this has come. This bit of PVC that you can see that I've put together, that is basically going to be, come on, focus. That is basically going to be the um, supportive frame that I'm going to be putting my live rock, rock on. Now, when I show you the tank in a minute, you'll see why I'm going up as opposed to out. It is a tall tank as opposed to a uh, wide tank, if you will. Um, not much more to show you on there, really. That is this little tank here. It's going to be my sump, just a little 60 litre sump. Um, it It's not as big as I would like, if I'm honest, I would like bigger. But the uh, the cabinet that comes with my tank, as you can see, has limited width. I could go deeper, I suppose I could get one made and that would fit it all in the bottom. But I'm wanting to use reactors, I'm wanting to have a... Um, uh, you know, dosing system in there, so I, I, I am limited with space. The cabinet is um, custom made. You can see there's a few little edges that I've had to sort out. Um, I've just put this piece of wood on the back there because it is going to be running in the living room. So one of the provisos, if you will, of, me, of the wife letting me have it is that it is as quiet as possible. So I'm going to do my utmost to uh, keep the noise down, as well as this piece woody, I'm going to line it all with hopefully rubber, if not rubber then I'll get some um, polystyrene sheet or something like that. This is the tank, so you can see I uh, had to drill the holes, was absolutely terrified about doing that if I'm honest. Um, read on all the forums, again most of them in the States. Um, spoke to a couple of local fish shops, they all assured me it is easier than you think it is. Um, and it was in the end. You can see that a couple of the edges have chipped but um, I'll sort that out when I'm putting my uh, bulkheads in. One of the, I suppose the, uh, the benefits of this tank is the fact that, I don't know if you can see this black line here, um, that isn't a plastic liner, that is the thickness of the glass. You know, the glass is 10 mil thick, so I always had the strength of the glass on my side when I was cutting it, um, which was nice to know. 
So basically, this, this first video here is just showing you what I've got to start with. Um, I'm just cleaning the tank now, um, getting all the glass fibres out of the way. Um, and then I am about to start my plumbing. Just got my plumbing delivery today. The guys at CD Aquatics. Um, the bits that I've seen do look absolutely spot on. Um, so, I mean, at the minute, I can't recommend them enough. Got all my pipes in there, all my unions, my ball valves, my elbows, my tees, all that sort of stuff. And now I'm just in the process of fig figuring out my plumbing. So what I'll do is, guys, once I've got this tank cleaned up, I shall then put on another video of me uh, plumbing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will keep you as up to date as possible as I can. Uh, thanks very much from Craigo.